And I believe the recording is on. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, February 9th. Um, on the agenda, I have just a couple of action items to go over. And um, we're going to do a recap of FOSTEM. So I'm hoping Jean-Marc and Bruno can um, walk us through that a little bit, give us a little bit feedback. And then we'll talk about GSOC, uh, She Code Africa, CDCon, and SCALE. Is there anything else that we need to add to the agenda? No? Nope. OK, sorry. Um, all right. So I have already submitted the um, the GSOC application for uh, for Jenkins as the mentoring org. So we will wait for that until, I believe it's the twenty second. Is this and, where you have a drum roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's done, and we're we're just in waiting mode at the moment. Um, and then the January newsletter has been published. So thank you, Bruno, for all of that. And thanks to all the SIG chairs for um, their contributions there. So we'll go into the agenda. So FOSTEM, um, John Mark, I'll start with you. What was your some of your key takeaways and what are some things that we can improve for next year? Um... What was what was good? It was good seeing people and being able to interact uh, with people. There was a huge crowd, a lot of interest, and a lot of that positive interest was triggered first by the very nice um, uh, mini cluster that uh, Jenkins cluster that Bruno brought with flickering flickering lights and all that uh, that uh, created a lot of uh, attention uh, as well as uh, the new UI the UI improvements uh, that were shown at the same time these two elements were great um, icebreakers or to start a conversation uh, uh, with the people. And there were a lot of uh, good uh, conversation that were uh, done there. Stickers were, I, I, I don't know what they do. They were so hungry that they were eating them. I, I don't know, but uh, nearly all the stickers went away. We had a good collection uh, of them and it's, uh, it's a nice way to also break uh, the ice and start a conversation. Uh, as you would guess, I had a lot of discussions around Google Summer of Code and uh, was somehow disappointed by the fact that, uh, at least in Europe, uh, the program is not that known. So, uh, this is something that we, we could improve or, or uh, it's a, an attention point. Um, now, uh, uh, what we could have improved? Well, uh, well, first thing, the fun factor was very high. So uh, there was good, very good humor. Uh, my idea, but coming from from sales from a sales background, uh, there um, we could make it even better in organizing conversations uh, by uh, preparing or having a little briefing on how do you engage the conversation, uh, uh, what are the main messages uh, uh, to 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 pass or a lot of questions were about what is the future of Jenkins? Where are we heading? Uh, when will this be fixed? And um, unless you're you're deeply rooted in all the affairs and, and uh, decision-making process uh, in the Jenkins, I'm looking at Mark Waite uh, here, uh, most of us uh, have to improvise a little bit. Preparing that part better would 
give even a more efficient and uh, powerful message to the various uh, users and contributors. So that was one uh, uh, um, that that was the 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 main the, the main improvement. I think the impact we had at that conference with fairly limited means was very high and i was super satisfied by the participation to that uh, to that conference so mark so raised his show. hand thanks yes, john mark. And, and you need to stop me if I otherwise so john mark, mark i think i saw reference to a presentation of of tim jacome and jan Faracik's what's next in in jenkins ui how was that presented? Was it shown as a video on the screen? Was Tim there to talk about it? Was Jan there to talk about it? What what was the what was the presentation mechanism and how was it received? Um, well, um, as, as far as I know, sure. it was just a, a preview website, something that a mock up oh. or something that we were showing up. Um, yeah. After the first time, somebody asked on Twitter uh, for some more information, and then Oleg answered about uh, the video of Tim and Jan Paracic. Got it. Okay. So, so what was shown at the at the conference was screenshots or or a, a website, whichever. A website. But it was it was yeah. at best just the, the the visualization of their mockup. No conversation about it. No not presenting Tim's and Jan's observations about why this is important, why that is important, that kind of thing. Okay, thank you. And this goes in a, into the direction uh, the people at the stand, myself or others, uh, uh, we, we could have been better prepared to explain this or to share uh, that. But even with the little preparation we had, we, we had some very good conversation. So, but so I have an action item pending from the governance board to update and make the current roadmap on Jenkins.io actually current. But I assume that during the FOSDEM segment, you didn't refer to the roadmap probably at all. No. So, so the fact that it's badly out of date compared to actual implementation was not harmful to you, but it also did not help you. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, to, uh, but okay. here the, this this shows uh, the 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 feeling of uh, not having the right tools or not mastering the right tools uh, to to even better leverage the context we had. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much, Bruno. Does does this summary? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Thank you. We had the same kind of experience. Uh, I don't have much to add. Um, no, uh, frankly, the thing is, I've already said it to Mark and Elisa. Um, first, then help me to realize that open source is not just uh, a bunch of people working on the same projects. It's more of a spirit of trying to help people, empowering them to get you know, better or something and just to be free, in fact. And that's something I felt deeply uh, when being in the first down. Uh, people just wanting to share knowledge, to help each other, to think of partnerships, to, you know, to grow together. And that's something that you don't always get when you are just interacting on GitHub, Twitter or whatever. This was really different. Um, yeah, less mechanical, you know, I tend to think of open source like just a GitHub punch card. It's much more uh, than that. And this showed up pretty big at first end. So we know what we can improve for this or other conferences. For sure. Yeah. So, right. And did we did in the in past conferences, we've run a rotating slide deck uh, with with Minigen running on the screen that you had, I assume you were focused on keeping Jenkins visible rather than doing any rotating slide deck. What, we had what was the rotating, yeah, sorry. We had the rotating slide deck. We made it 
on the booth uh, ah, okay. the first day. Uh, so we had a few slides, but most of the time we were showing uh, Jan and Tim's um, UI proposals. And then we were going back to the Minigen uh, controller dashboard. So we were uh, we had three tabs and rotating between the three of them. Ah, okay. So that was an important thing. So as Alyssa and I are going to head to a conference here in the United States in March, you rotated screens by just switching tabs in the browser. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Switch browser tabs. And we had just one Wi-Fi network for the whole booth. So that all the machines, so the machines composing Minigen, but also uh, Damien's laptop, everyone was sharing the same Wi-Fi. So that it was easy to show things. Okay. And Alyssa, you're bringing you're bringing the screen to scale, right? I don't have yeah. to bring a screen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, but I'm Bruno. Your your mini gen has inspired. I'm intending to build my own, and I'm bringing a, a cluster of pies to to the scale conference as well to have a physical device to to incent people to come have a conversation with us. We'll see. Yes. We haven't we haven't done that kind of physical device story in the past and so we'll see if it, it helps increase traffic yeah. at scale it worked one time hopefully it will work multiple times we'll see as long as people don't get bored let's continue but at least at least it wakes up the curiosity of yeah, it was a nice this icebreaker. is where you where exactly this is where you need to jump it's like when when you give stickers and you say well help yourself by the way are you using jenkins and what do you do with it? And uh, uh, where does it help you? And what are the pain points? And, uh... Yes, and the last thing I was not prepared to was people just wanting to come and testify about their love and <laughs> use of Jenkins. Uh, I was um, yeah. afraid of getting some hate, something, you know, but no, people love Jenkins. So that's yeah. cool. <laughs> A lot of very satisfying stories. Very nice. Well, I, I mentioned to um, Bruno, the one thing that we have in common is that, so I go to a lot of conferences in the States and in Europe. And when I'm at the Jenkins booth, they come and they say the same thing, regardless of where, of where I'm at. So the messaging is quite consistent. So I, I believe in it. I thought at first I thought, well, people are just, you know, it's just a way to break the ice and that they're just trying being nice. But um, it's it's pretty much the same everywhere we go when when we have a Jenkins booth. So yeah, and I'm I was sold. also amazed oh, <laughs> at the um, variety of industries people are using Jenkins in. Uh, of course, I already knew about embedded automotive, but we had somebody from CERN. Um, I can't remember the acronym, uh, acronym. It's something about nuclear in um, uh, Europe. And yes. high energy, uh, uh, yeah, physics. that's where the world wide web got invented. And boom, people are using people from CERN are using Jenkins, and oh. lots and lots, and even, um, I don't know, uh, domotique in French, uh, you know, things to automate your uh, house. blinders, your house, your door, whatever. Uh, open hub is the name of the project they came and said oh we're using jenkins we love it and so on and so on and so on it was wow jenkins is just about everywhere yeah. the only message that was not that good was that most of the people using jenkins for embedded software were building with jenkins but not testing or deploying things to jenkins so that's something we should maybe have a look at great Thanks, John Mark and Bruno, for sacrificing your weekend to staff it the, was the stand. Totally worth it. I loved it. And Delphine to be frank, just, yeah, yeah being able to welcome in country. Yeah, and see um, Jean Marc, Damien, Oleg, Alexander, um, Olivier, for example, for real, having them all for me and for the others just for the weekend, that was super cool. Very nice. Okay, um, so moving on to GSOC. Um, yep. So as I mentioned, we did apply as a mentoring org. We made it um, before the deadline. And so now we are planning our next phase, which is the office hours. So we're going to assume that 
we've been accepted. So we're going to plan as such. <laughs> a little bit snobbish. <laughs> we, um, so we're we're going to be optimistic. It will work. It will work. Yeah. And with John Mark's uh, magic touch and meeting the, the, the GSOC folks in Boston, I'm that's like 99.9% uh confidence in me feeling that we're gonna get accepted so we're planning ahead um so the next phase is gonna be the office hours where the mentors will go over the project ideas in detail and answer any questions we um, um contributors potential contributors might have um uh, like i said uh the announce well the announcement for um the accepted mentoring orgs is going to be February 22nd. So as soon as that is announced, we will, we're going to go ahead and schedule for the office hours to be on the 23rd. <clears throat> yeah. So if, if I can jump in uh, yeah. there. So uh, <clears throat> these office hours are the backbone for uh, the next important phase, which is where the students are preparing their uh, submission uh, for that. So, so the, this is a month and a half uh, long and uh, will start immediately. I'm currently preparing with the help of Elisa a poll to know what is the adequate time uh, for that. So uh, historically, uh, we held uh, the office hour uh, around four o'clock PM uh, UTC, which is uh, about this time. Now it is winter time, and so I have I have some doubts. Uh, I'm I'm going I'm preparing and reviewing the poll. Might go out uh, tomorrow. I'm you know, I need to do a test review with a couple uh, of you. So, because currently I think it's midnight in uh, Hong Kong or nearly midnight, Chris. I think it's okay though. I prefer this time. Yeah. So I I need to check with uh, India. I I like this this time because this is where we cover most uh, of the Earth, and yeah. the other part of the uh, the Earth that is not covered is just water, the Pacific Ocean. So. Uh, but I, we're fine tuning. Another important thing is currently there is a huge amount of activity and interest on the various channels that we have. And uh, some mentors and in particular Chris are super active, uh, uh, guiding the people, uh, helping them out. Uh, so I, I don't have precise figures of how many people are interested, but I would like to thank Chris uh, here for his dedication and the, the great work he's doing in, in mentoring and helping all those people. So Chris, thank you, thank you very much uh, for all you're doing. So um, to recap, next steps for Google Summer of Code, we are helping out people that are still building their last Jenkins muscle, as I, I uh, 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 named uh, that phase. We are preparing uh, the first office hours. And as soon as we are confirmed to be part of the program, uh, February 22, we roll. And we mm -hmm. start by explaining in details every project idea. This is where we're standing. Alyssa, back to you. Thanks, Jean Marc. Any questions on GSOC? Okay, so SheCode um, Africa. Mark, I will hand that over to you. Oh, you're on mute, Mark. Me being the bearer of bad news. Um, <laughs> We've done the She Code Africa contribute -thon, I think, two or three of the last two, two or three years now, and and felt like it was a good a good use of of our energy. We were grateful to Cloudbees that they donated six thousand dollars each year to to fund 
the Jenkins Project's participation. This year, I don't feel like we should do She Code Africa Contribute Thon. And so I've made the personal decision I'm not going to do She Code Africa Contribute Thon. And since I was the primary driver in the past, that means the Jenkins Project will not do She Code Africa Contribute Thon. I think we should focus our effort on Google Summer of Code. The, the realization came to me as I was describing to other mentors that even during this phase of Google Summer of Code, a mentor should expect to spend four to eight hours a week on their project, preparing to mentor, preparing for the selections, preparing, getting themselves more deeply involved. And I can't do that and, <clears throat> and also run she Code Africa contribute on. And so it's a, it, this is an intentional choice on my part that She Code Africa contribute on won't happen in the Jenkins project this year because I believe we'll get more value out of focusing all our energy on Google Summer of Code. Uh, I'm open to other disputes, but my sense, I've told Zenob I won't, we won't be participating and, and they'll just have to go ahead without the Jenkins project. I personally believe that given given the current situation and we're we're low on on mentors and people that are able to dedicate their time uh, that we need now to be very cautious and thoughtful about where we put the energy and uh, there a lot of uh, there's a lot of attention and also requirement in Google Sum of Code. It is, as Mark, yeah. Mark said, it's a sad decision, right. but we the choices have to be done. And, uh, yeah, and I, I think um, She Code Africa, the challenge there, it's pretty much the same as GSOC. There's finding mentors is really hard. And Mark, in the past couple of years, has been shouldering this on his own yeah. for a few years. So I think um, it's a lot, it's a lot. So now let's focus on quality versus quantity. Right, super, thanks. That's all that I had on that one. Okay, thanks, Mark. Um, so CDCon, uh, we're still planning for that. Um, the CFP is open until tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, so Mark, if want to make a submission there we have one more day and then um they're also talking about uh doing the jenkins awards again so past couple of years uh, we've been doing the same award uh most valuable advocate most valuable contributor security mvp and <clears throat> uh, we will be driving this award within the project or from the project and then um, CDF will showcase or announce the award at CDCon. So um, there are some important dates there that I will need to work on. So the nomination is already um, actually, yeah, it's it's already open, but I need to get uh, to create a pull request for that. Um, so keep an eye out for that. So once that is open, I will announce it via Twitter and LinkedIn and you got submissions, uh, nominations, please uh, nominate folks. And then scale, um, planning is in progress. As Mark mentioned, he will mimic the, the great idea from Bruno and create a cluster. Um, of PIs and we'll have that on our table at our stand. Hopefully that will, I'm sure that will attract attention and, and, and be a conversation starter for us. Didn't realize that it was so near. Yeah. March 9 is, is, is in, in yeah. three or four weeks, so. Typically the open source events uh, for us is, it, it seems to happen beginning of the year, the first, one or two or three months. That's when we're yep. most busy. Yeah. And then, okay. Uh, announcement tweet for today's security advisory. Yep. <clears throat> I got that. So I will work on that after this meeting, Mark. Yeah. And Alyssa, I was going to offer, usually that's not one we want to put on you just because the phrasing has to be relatively precise. Okay. I'd even say, if you don't mind, let me take it. 
particularly because of how deeply I'm involved in that particular set of things. That's a platform SIG topic. And if it were phrased incorrectly, it might look like it were a Git plugin problem when it is in fact not. Okay. So, so it's, it's the words, the words are carefully chosen when we do security, security tweets. And if we don't say exactly the right words, we risk that someone will be confused and will create unnecessary, unnecessary angst or concern. Got it. Okay. Thank you for taking that over. I'm not going to play complain about less work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, that's it. Um, unless anybody has anything else that they want to cover. Tiny little thing. I'm giving a talk next week in the local university about open source and gen kit. Great. Cool. Uh, Bruno, do you want to put the information on this document and then I will. then I'll send yeah. out a tweet? Just let me know okay. the link and the date and all that stuff. We'll do. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All righty. I'm going to.